Hello one and all, welcome to the Galaxy Mantra channel. Um, I am here with... Amelia Conway. Hello. Um, and, okay Amelia, um, I got some awesome questions for you about um, your film that you're in. Um, yeah. Uh, you said the name of it before. Uh, do you want to explain what the name of it is and what, what, it's, all, what it's all about? Yeah, sure. So, um, it's called Bad Influence and it's written and directed by um, a guy named Andreas... Tum Tumbus, I hope I'm saying that right, I'm probably murdering his last name. Um, and basically what it's about is it centers around a group of friends who are having a, a, a party at one of their houses and they've got this one friend who always drinks and smokes and does too many drugs and just gets way out of control. And so he's basically the bad influence of the group. And throughout the course of the evening, you see the way he interacts with all the um, different characters at the party and all sorts of different um, things are revealed so I won't say too much more than that but yeah it's um I think it's a really good script and I'm really excited to be on board. And what got you into acting in the first place like who inspired you into acting? Um I could tell you exactly that the person who inspired me into acting it's um was Jennifer Lawrence so oh I've always looked up to her and thought she was amazing and I've watched like every single interview with her ever and um uh, looked at like how she started and you know she like she obviously started much younger than me but she basically said to her mum like you know I want to give this a go I want to you know do this and so um she I think she got, dropped out of school and she was like 16 she went to New York and she followed her dream and she just did it and um you know it wasn't like overnight for her but like she had the drive and the passion and the commitment to be like this is what I want to do I'm going to do it and I was just sort of thinking hey well why don't oh, why don't I just do that too? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, obviously not in, not in New York, but the same sort of idea of the commitment and the, um, the you know, going against the grain sort of thing. Awesome. Uh, next question is, um, like, with the whole acting industry, what do you find the most hardest about the acting industry-wise? Um, I think the hardest thing is you really need to keep yourself... Um, keep yourself motivated and keep your own self-confidence alive. You know, you can't keep looking at other people to tell you, you did good, you're great, what a great scene, what a great, you're such a great actor. Like if you keep looking at others to compliment you and reward you, um, you're always going to be doubting yourself. So that needs to come from within. Uh, I think that's probably the hardest thing is, yeah, comparing yourself to others. Yep. Uh, and um, the next question. Uh, this is from uh, my mate uh, Daniel from Canada. Uh, he wants to know. Hi, Daniel. Um, so he wants to know basically what do you find the most interesting about acting, like the whole I like think... meeting new friends, or it could be whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know exactly what yeah. what he means by that question. Um, I think for me, coming from a long background of doing modelling, I did modelling for ten years um, before I even started acting. I think it was the ability to be able to show my personality and show who I am. And, um, you know, I'm pretty bubbly, uh, fun person, but when you're modeling, they don't, you know, they don't want to hear you. You can't hear someone in a photo. You've just got to be very still and basically just look sexy. That's basically the only option is sexy or pretty. Whereas with acting, you get to be a whole spectrum of things. You get to be all different types of a woman, you know, ugly, angry, scary. It's not just, is one ideal of a woman and I think that's what I what I really enjoy about it um yeah it's getting to sort of show my full spectrum of my personality and uh last but not least uh why should people get into bad influence when it comes out like do you know the actual when it comes out release date I don't know the release date but we've we're hoping for January 2019 yeah. um but I think people will like it because it's very relatable. So it's just, you know, it follows like a group of friends, could be you, me, our friends out at dinner, it has very sort of um, relevant issues, issues that people can relate to. Because the message of the film is obviously a message of, you know, are you that messy friend at the party who kind of ruins everything? And it's sort of like check that sort of Australian drinking culture. Um, and that's sort of that boys will be boys kind of culture as well. So I think it's very relevant for now. And I think, um, a lot of people will relate to it and there's, it's funny too, there's, you know, there's, there's funny moments in it. So I, I think people will enjoy it. Awesome. Uh, and just one, one more thing, um, with the whole, um, what, where, where do you see yourself in the next year or so? Well, 
ideally what I'd, I'd like to work towards is um, I'd love to, you know, get, get myself a spot on Home and Away or Neighbours or something like that. Um, that would be a dream. Um, and if not, you know, maybe head over to LA and try my luck there. But um, yeah, aiming big, aiming high. Well, I'm wishing you all the best. Uh, you are one truly amazing person, Amelia. You really, you. truly are. Uh, and um, never stop like doing your passion oh, because thanks, you are Jacob. one amazing person. So uh, thank That's you for coming sweet. on my show. And yeah, uh, thank you one and all. Uh, and this has been Amelia Conway.